Hey everyone, this is uh, Christian Karaswitz here. Um, I'm a social media strategist. Uh, I wanted to um, take a moment and uh, share with, with you a quick little um, instructional video on how you can use a uh, URL shortening service like Bitly um, to shorten your URLs for Twitter, Facebook, and email, uh, pretty much anywhere you want to use them. Um, so, you know, I've had some people ask me questions they said, hey, you know, how do I, um, what service do I use? Well, there are a number of services. Uh, there's TinyURL, Owly, and then there's Bitly, and then there's a few other ones out there. Um, the thing you want to keep in mind with uh, URL shorteners is that while there are a lot of URL shorteners, uh, some of them, for instance, uh, TinyURL, do not, uh, are, are not well respected in the industry, um, meaning, when you use a tiny URL shortened link, you're less likely to have somebody retweet that content. People seem to trust Bitly a little bit more. Um, so let's just you know, start and show you how easy this is. So basically, I'm going to open up two tabs, one for bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, and then the other one I'm going to open is going to be my source that I want to go to. So in this case, I'm going to open up this web page. Okay? So... We go back to Bitly, and I want to start here by showing you how this works. If you don't have an account with Bitly, you can just create any old link. So I can take, you know, let's take this link, and I want to shorten it. And I will get this link here. Bitly slash 300K7E. That means absolutely nothing. I know that the long link goes to this website here. Um, you can use this like this without having to create an account. However, if you create an account, which, by the way, it's free, um, you add in additional features to being able to shorten URLs. Besides shortening URLs, you can also track your URLs. Um, if, you've used, if you've seen any of my QR code, how to use QR code videos that I've created, you can also, um, when you shorten a link, Bitly will also give you a QR code, which you could use. You could put that on, you know, say you've got a flyer you're going to be handing out, you know, that you've, you've got an approval from. You know, you've got that. Say you're going to put it on a business card. You know, you could put a QR code on there. Um, but basically, uh, URL shorteners, you know, in, uh, in you know, long and short of things, obviously, um, URL shorteners are great because they allow you to take a very long link and um, then shorten it to where you can use it throughout Facebook. If you've got a status update, a comment, use it in a tweet, um, you know, use it in your email. So let's show you how this typically works. So we shortened that one URL, and it gave us this, you know, this URL that really doesn't tell us much, right? Um, if we took this URL and we actually uh, put it into a browser window, um, it will redirect us to this website, okay? So remember, though, I mentioned, you know, well, you can actually customize this part of the URL. Well, you need an account with Bitly, so we're going to go sign into Bitly, and I already have an account here. And they are free again. So we're going to hit sign in. Well, basically, let's just, you know, it's it's really simple. All we have to do is go to our source where we want to copy um, a link from. So in this case, I'm going to go to this hot deals page because this is a page that I want to always share with people. Um, and I'm going to, instead of copying this full link up here, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here, and it says link to this page. Let's click that. And that is my full website link to the hot deals page, the one I want people to share and use. So um, the things I recommend doing, you know, you go and you copy and paste, and then we go back to Bitly. So let's go copy this link, and we're going to paste it. Look at that. It took that full URL, which we see here. It's really long. And we now have bit.ly slash hn2qbi. Okay, that means absolutely nothing to us. However, we can go in and we can customize it now. So you just click this customize button, and let's call it, um, you know, MA Hot Deals. Well, let's see if that's available. So we just type that and we hit enter. And it looks like it's available because um, if it wasn't, we would get a message that popped up saying um, this URL, you know, this this word is not available. So in this case, it is. So our link is now bit.ly slash MA Hot Deals to go right to our Hot Deals page. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to show you how this works. So just like we did before, we open a new window and we paste this and we hit enter. And look what we get. 
uh, we get taken to the hot deals page that we shared. Pretty cool, huh? Um, you know, we'll also you can also check. You can look here and say, hey, you know what? Hey, look at that. There's my actual web portal that I'm sharing. So that's how you use you shorten a URL with Bitly. Well, the other two things that I mentioned about shortening URLs, um, which are really important, uh, Bitly allows you to track. So in this case, I've had 1,620 clicks this week on these links. Um, I've also got this cool little feature. You see how it says info plus? Um, it basically, if I clicked this link, I can now see there was one person that clicked my link. I could see what page it was going to. And I can see what kind of activity I've had. Facebook shares, tweets, likes, comments. And I also get this nice uh, um, bar graph you know, of like how many people have clicked this link. For instance, I say, hey, one click at 121. Somebody else clicks it, it's two clicks. Um, you also have this QR code, which I mentioned. This is created with every URL you shorten. Um, and then you also get you know, refers, like what country is this being pushed through? Hey, this was in the US. Um, where did this come from? Um, you know, you get those kinds of options. And again, this is, this is all available for free. And it tells you, you know, who created this link. Um, so in a nutshell, that is essentially how to shorten a Bitly URL. Um, I strongly recommend, you know, um, these are great for, you know, status updates, tweets, email, anywhere you want to use your links. Um, I suggest, you know, you taking in the time. And if you see there, it only took us, what, a couple of minutes to do. Um, set up different links for, for instance, if I've got a home page, if I've got a hot deals page I want to send somebody to, if I've got a partner stores page, for example, say I want to send somebody to my Twitter account, I want to send them to my Facebook account, um, create different links to add in um, that are going to give people, you know, some incentive to click. And as I mentioned, Bitly is a very well-respected um, resource. So um, if you have any questions on this, feel free to um, connect with me on Twitter um, at C-K-R-O-K-S. Um, there will also be a slide at the end of this video. Um, you can also connect with me on Facebook if you have specific questions. Uh, post them to my wall, and I will respond to them. So thank you very much. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Bitly to shorten URLs.